uno que viene a homologar y a presentarnos el hula hop más grande del mundo, que es este. Que Today, Laura is going to attempt to hula a hoop that you probably couldn't even fit in your entire living room. It's 3.6 meters in diameter. And all of this around her diminutive frame. The watchwords here are bravery, extreme coordination and a fierce will to win. As our Spanish presenter explains the rules, Laura is now going to put on some padding around her waist just to protect herself from the bone-crushing weight of that hula hoop. Laura, are you ready? Our official adjudicator is now in place. He signaled to Laura that he is ready. He now just has to wait for her. You can see her just bouncing her arms, trying to feel for the weight of the hula hoop. She breathes out. The lights are dim. She's got her composure. The studio audience are behind her. And if they've got any sense, they'll stay a long way behind her because if that comes off her waist, they're really going to know about it. Here she goes now, just building up momentum. But she's still going to need more speed before centrifugal force takes over, pushing herself out to the edge of the hoop and allowing her to keep the spins going. And she's off. Fantastic. Hoolering for a place in history. That's a great technique, but I can't quite work out whether or not the hoop's spinning her or she's spinning the hoop. Mind you, I've got to say, if you thought that was impressive, get a load of this, because the record for hula hooping the most hoops simultaneously is 99 of them, held by Alisa Gulvic from Belarus at the Big Apple Circus. And, of course, we can't forget our good friend Ashrita Furman, who holds the Guinness World Record for walking a mile while continuously hula hooping in the fastest time. And that was 14 minutes and 25 seconds. But just look at Laura go. Slowly making her way across the studio floor. That's because the weight of that hula hoop really has a mind of its own and pushes her exactly where it wants. There she goes. She seems to have gained a bit more control, but look closely because you can see our official adjudicator crouched uncomfortably on the ground. Nope, he's not injured his back. He's just making absolutely sure that the hoop does not, I repeat, does not come into contact with the floor at any point. Otherwise, the record at 10 stops. But she's got her breathing sussed. She's got her hip technique sussed. But she's starting to tire, and that's it. It's all over. All we have to do now is wait to find out the official result from our official adjudicator. That was truly amazing skill. But how many has she done? Once the kisses are over, I'm sure we'll all find out. Once again, we see the technique in slow motion. She really does have everything under control. It's all in the hips. And a big, big hip, hip hooray for Laura. Because if I'm not very much mistaken, and I can assure you I'm not mistaken, it is now official. She has managed to hula hoop the hoop 65 times.